The average human cell contains about two metres of DNA. Now, there's some debate as to how many cells there is in the human body. Some say it's 10 trillion, some say it's 100 trillion. So let's take an average. Let's say we have 50 trillion cells in the human body, and they each have two metres of DNA. So that means we have approximately 100 trillion metres of DNA. Now a quick calculation tells you that's enough DNA to make 350, about 350 round trips to the sun. <laughs> it's a long way. The sun's 93 million miles away. Light takes eight minutes to get from the sun to here. If you had to go to the sun and back in a plane, a 747, it would take you about 40 years. Right? So we have an enormous amount of DNA. What's really interesting is your DNA, the way it behaves, the way the genes behave, is not just according to a genetic program, but is actually according to what's happening in the environment. So for example, the environment could be the, sub the contents of your mind. So if you were to think of someone who causes you stress, then you impact several hundred genes, stress genes. But if you were to think of someone that you love, and think of a time that was really special between you, sometime when they did something really kind, for example, then you impact several hundred genes associated with love and compassion and kindness. So isn't that amazing? And that's just in one cell, right? And we've got like 50 trillion cells. So think of how many <laughs> millions and millions of miles of DNA you're actually impacting every moment of the day, depending on, on where you point your mind. Stress, kindness, love and compassion. Fascinating, isn't it?